I see that the European countries, we will need to spend more on defense. I mean, the, the, the invasion of Ukraine has shifted the security uh, in, uh, in Europe, unfortunately. Uh, and I won't want to spend. I won't want to spend Swedish taxpayers' money on on schools, hospitals, elderly care, better uh, pensions for for se our senior citizens. But unfortunately, we will have to spend more money on on defence. And uh, my government, we have today uh, announced that we will increase the Swedish military spending to two percent of GDP. We are right now. We have the last. Uh, since 2015, from 2015 to 2025. We, have in, we are already planning to increase our defense spending with 85%, up to 1.5% of GDP. But we say we, will, well, we want to continue to 2% of GDP and also see how fast we can do this. I think, I mean, most EU members, they are members, most EU countries, they are members of, the Europe, of uh, NATO and they want to continue New NATO as their uh, main defense alliance. At the same time, I have, together with my Finnish colleagues, sent a letter uh, to the, the other uh, the other prime ministers and presidents to uh, just that, to remind us that we actually do have Article 42.7 in the uh, in the Lisbon, Lisbon Agreement, and uh, this is a. Uh, timely um, point in time to um, remind ourselves of that. So far, what I've heard is a positive response. I also want to say on the military spending, we are increasing it, want to increase it further. We also uh, started a discussion on financing, because I think it's important if we should have a stable and defense that this is security for all our uh, citizens. It's also important to have a uh, uh, long-term and sustainable financing on the defense spending. I think uh, there are always, uh, I've been the Minister of Finance for seven years, uh, some countries also always find new arguments why they shouldn't pay for their expenses. I think, uh, I mean, I think we're open to, I mean, we're open to increased and more sanctions from Sweden, but I also see we are not very dependent on Russian gas in Sweden, so I think that question maybe should be asked to other prime ministers or presidents than to me. Now that 